Namaste everyone. Today I'm doing my own hot yoga outside. So join me for our hot yoga. So we're going to face the short edge of the mat, feet close together, and bring the palms together. Interlace the fingers and bring the knuckles right under the chin. So I'm going to demonstrate this facing the front so you can see me. So with your inhale, keep the chin parallel to the floor and very slowly start to lift your elbows up. And then exhale, lower the elbows down, lift the chin up. And inhaling, 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 elbows up. Exhaling, 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 elbows down, chin up. Inhaling, inhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Keep moving. Inhaling, inhale, all the way up. Exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. One more round. Inhaling, exhaling. And then release. Take a deep breath in. Raise both arms up. Interlace the fingers, leaving just the index fingers together, and move the spine a little bit side to side. Keep moving the spine side to side. Move the spine side to side. Warm up the spine in this direction, side to side. And now hold to one side. Go to the right and hold. Lengthen the spine, hold, showing you this from a different angle here so you can see. Hold three, hold in two, hold one, inhale, come up and go over to the left side. Hold, breathe. Imagine there's a wall behind you and both shoulder blades touch that imaginary wall. Breathing, inhale, coming up. Keep the hands as they are, arch back. Feel the nice stretch through the front of the spine, lengthening the abdomen, lifting the rib cage up. As you exhale, release the hands and start to go forward into the forward fold. And here you can bend the knees a little bit, you can paddle your feet. Okay. And exhale, go into a forward fold. We're going to repeat this sequence one more time. Inhale as your warm up. Exhale, arms to the sides. Let's do it again. Inhale, both arms up. Leave just your index fingers together. Cross your thumbs. Exhale, move the spine to the right and hold. This time we're just going to hold. Breathe into the side body. Four. Pull the belly button in, pressing the inner thighs towards each other, grounding the feet. On your next inhale, lift the spine up. Exhale, go over to the other side and hold. Again, grounding the feet. Feel all of the four corners of your feet pressing into the floor. Bottom of the big toe, bottom of the little toe, inside and outside of the heels. Continue to breathe in and out through the nose. Inhale, come up. Keep the arms. Exhale, go back. Lengthen the front of the body as much as you can. And some of you have a really amazing back bend. You can even see the back wall behind you. I'm just going to look up to the sky because it's really beautiful right now. Taking in all that solar energy. Exhale, release, going forward, slowly. And this time, see if you can lift your heels up and place your hands underneath the heels, elbows, back, and the forearms really close to the lower legs. Relax your head down and hold. Long, deep breaths through the nose, out through the nose. Okay. 
softening the facial muscles, letting go of the jaw. And then slowly release the hands from underneath your feet. Inhale, both arms up, go all the way up. And then exhale, arms to the sides, release. Now we're moving into chair pose. So we're gonna keep the feet close together. They don't necessarily touch, but close. Take the arms in front, inhale. Exhale, sit on your chair. Good, tuck your tailbone, pubic bone towards the navel, engage the abdomen and sit down until you feel some strong sensations through your thighs. Hold, breathe. Long, deep breaths, trying to stay calm. And this is not a very comfortable position, so it's really hard to stay calm in an uncomfortable situation. And exhale, release. Keep the arms up there. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, go back into your chair. Hold, we're gonna repeat that chair one more time. Three. Two. we're not holding that long the second time around and one okay release take a deep breath and take the arms in front again and lift your heels up balancing on your ten toes now bend the knees and sit back it's a very awkward chair and you're balancing on your ten toes this works really well for you. You can sit all the way down to your heels. Feel free to do so, okay? Otherwise, keep your hips lifted. Holding three, two. If you're sitting all the way down to your heels, squeeze inner thighs together. Pull the belly button in and start to come up. Up, 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 up. Hold. And then lower your heels, lower your arms. Take a deep breath in, let it all out. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, right arm under the left, eagle arms. Bend the knees and cross the right leg on top. Eagle pose. So right leg on top, right arm under. Sit back and push your hips back and down. Hold three. Long, deep breaths. If you need to put your right toes on the floor, you cannot hook your right foot around the left calf. That's fine. I'm demonstrating here with my right toe on the floor. That's perfectly fine. Now, inhale, release. Release the pose, arms overhead. Exhale, left arm underneath the right. Bend the knees. Take the left leg on top. Hold, push your hips down and back, and notice left toes on the floor, perfectly fine. Or if you're more experienced and you can hook your foot around the calf, you're welcome to go there. Sit down a little deeper, really getting into the hips and shoulders with deep breathing. Hold. And inhale, release. Exhale, arms to the sides. Very nice. And next position, we're gonna lift the right knee up and you're gonna either hold the knee, you can just stay right here. That's your option number one. Option number two, you're gonna grab the bottom of the foot your entire palm, the bottom of the foot. You can interlace your fingers, even thumbs on the bottom of the foot. And then you can either stay here and practice that way or stretch out both legs down and go forward. Hold, elbows in. Whoop. It's hard to do this when you're talking, so it's a lot easier when you're keeping your mouth shut. Three, two, one. Bend the knee again, and then slowly come on out of that. Okay, a 
I'll try not to talk next round so <laughs> I won't lose my balance so easily lift the left knee up then your option number one just hold the knee to the chest and stay right here okay bottom leg really long spine tall now this works really well for you bring the knee up catch the left foot interlace the fingers under the bottom of the foot and then stretch out the leg this is not possible keep your knee bent elbows in now coming out of the pose bend the knee and then everybody back to standing take a deep breath let it go okay dance your pose turn your right palm out so your thumb is facing the back open the chest and then bend your right foot catch your right foot on the inside of the foot and then lift the left arm up lengthen the spine and then if you're ready kick the knee back go into your dancer pose now you can also stay right here and stay with a calm mind long deep breaths staying calm hold slowly come on out of the dancer pose and we switch left side I'll demonstrate again the thumb facing the front now flip the palm out so the thumb now is facing back bring your heel towards the buttocks and catch the foot or the shin on the inside of the leg raise your right arm up and either stay here enjoy the balance enjoy the stretch through the front of the body or kick your knee back and go into your dancer pose hold it there okay hold the dancer and the name of the dancer in Sanskrit is Natarajasana hold three two one slowly let it go take a deep breath and then walk to the back of your mat feet close together point the toes forward inhale raise your arms up interlace the fingers again leaving the index fingers together all the other fingers are crossed and then take a step with the right leg lean forward and lift the back leg warrior three hold left toes pointing down or the left toes can pointing can be pointing away from you that might give you a cramp so if you feel a cramp coming when you point your toes then flex four three inhale come straight back up feet together switch sides left leg stepping forward lean forward and lift your right leg hold three two. one inhale come back up and now bring the feet together exhale release now I'm gonna face the sh long edge of the mat and then take a big step out to the side toes in heels out inhale both arms up and now as you exhale slide the hands down go forward you can catch your ankles or the outer edges of the feet I'm gonna grab my toes because it feels really good squeezing my toes elbows out head down head facing the floor
inhale, come halfway up, exhale, hands on your hips, and then very slowly come up. Good. And then turn your right foot out, 90 degrees, inhale, both arms up, bend your right knee, and go into the side angle pose. Actually, in the hot yoga, this is called the triangle pose. The top arm is straight up, bottom arm down, right in front of the foot, and you can reach your fingertips right in between the first little toe and the big toe, and hold. Press the hips forward, and look up towards the top hand, and breathe. Yeah, the sky looks amazing. So open the chest with your inhale, pull yourself up, exhale, pivot the feet, go to warrior two, and then slowly going to the side for the Bikram triangle pose. Top arm straight up, again, bottom hand down, fingers right in between the first big toe and the little one. Well, there's not a second big toe, so it's the big toe and the first little toe. Three. Breathing. Two. And one. Inhale. Pull yourself up. Exhale. Release. Bring the legs back together. All right, I'm gonna face the short edge of the mat again for the pyramid position. I'm gonna step the right leg forward. It's a short step, not a big one. The left toes point to an 60, 80 degrees to the left. Toes pointing straight forward on the right. Then inhale, arms up. Again, leave your index fingers together and exhale, fold over the right leg, hold. On the inhale, come back up, exhale, release. My shoulders are hurting a little bit, I'm gonna drop my arms down for a second. Now inhale, arms go up, left leg forward, square the hips, inhale, exhale, fold over the left leg and hold. On the inhale, come back up, exhale, release, mountain pose. Okay, I'm gonna face you, so we're gonna go into tree pose. Now for this tree pose, you can do the tree pose with the right leg in half lotus, okay? And then try to bring the knee up high, use both hands to draw the left foot close to the, the right foot close to the left hip, and then hold it here. You can bring the right hand to the heart. Point the fingers up. Now, this is easy for you. Bring both hands together and hold. The next step is, if you're ready to, for the next step, you're gonna lower the hands down, lift your heel up, and then come down and sit on your heel and then try to balance right here. This is not doable yet. That's perfectly fine. Now to come out of this position, you place your hands on the floor, push with your fingers, and then inhale, come all the way back up, and exhale, feet back together. Now everybody, we meet back in mountain pose for the left side. So lift the left knee up, Use both hands to help bring that left foot to the right hip. Hold the left hand with your right and bring the left hand right in front of the heart and hold your balance here. The next step is to 
bring both hands to namaste in front of the heart and then the next level of this is to go forward lift the heel bend the knee and come down and sit on your right heel and you can keep your fingertips on the floor because I know it's hard to balance here or bring the hands to the heart hold Oops. I'm having a hard time on this side right now then to come out of the position push your fingertips on the floor stretch out the legs slowly rise inhale then exhale feet back together all right let's go down to Shavasana lie down hold I'm gonna face this way because of the Sun so going down and take a few moments here in Shavasana then you're gonna bring your right knee to the chest hold and then from here take the right knee over to the left side you can rest your right foot on the inside of your left leg and twist to the left Four. three two one come back and we switch left knee to the chest head is down Holding the left thigh really close to the chest, place the left foot on the inside of the right leg and twist to the right side. Three, two, come back slowly and let's move into happy baby knees pressing down tailbone pressing down and hold this is a great way of releasing the back opening up the hips long deep breaths through the nose you can grab the shins or the feet on the outside or inside whichever works best for your body and then keep pressing the knees down as you press your tailbone down and then release stretch out the legs take a deep breath in inhale and we're gonna do a sit up here pull the belly button in come all the way up reach to the toes and then release we're moving into plank pose okay so holding the plank pose press your palms down stretch out the legs and hold Let's build upper body core strength. Hold for three. Good. Two. One. Come down. Set your forearm down. I'm going to put my extra padding here for our mar my arms. Press your forearms down. You can interlace your fingers and then stretch out your legs and hold the forearm plank. If you need, we're gonna hold this for a minute. So if you need to put your knees on the floor, put your knees on the floor at any time. Hold. Four. Hang in there, we're halfway done. You're welcome to put your knees down. Hold. this is challenging but life is challenging are we prepared for the challenges of life I hope yoga can do that for you can help you prepare yourself for life's challenges we can always put the knees on the floor always have options even in life okay coming down relax stretch out for a second 
I'm being in the here for where's books. All right, and we're moving into Cobra. So press your feet on the floor, lift your chest up, shoulders down and back. Hold the Cobra. Hold. Nice. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release. And I'm going to pad my hips a little bit for the next pose, which is locust. So in this locust position, I'm going to take one leg at a time, okay? Just because of my back, I'm not going to do the locust with both legs up, but you're welcome to do that, okay? So we're going to take the hands underneath the body, chin or forehead on the floor, and lift one or both legs up. I'm just going to do one leg because I have some back issues, and lifting both legs is excruciating for me in this position. So hold four and release. Other side. So you're pressing your hips on your forearms. Some people swear that this position with your arms underneath the hips can help alleviate carpal tunnel syndrome. And everybody come all the way down and relax take a deep breath we're gonna do this one more time so you're gonna either lift both legs together or do it with me one at a time and I'll tell you when to switch legs ready slide your hands underneath your buttocks press again your hips on your forearms chin or forehead on the floor lift both or one legs up and hold Switch legs if you're lifting just one up and hold. Four. One. Release. And relax. Okay, you can stay here. Turn the head to one side. Breathe. Relax as much as you can. Preparing for the next position and we're moving into bow pose so bring the heels to the buttocks catch your feet and on your inhale lift the chest up and if you can lift your knees up this is a lot easier for me to do I can lift both legs because my arms are holding my legs so hold and breathe five Feel the chest expansion here. Four. Breathing three. Two. And one. Release. And you can turn the head to the other side. And you can leave your arms on the sides of the body. I like to just take my arms in front of here and relax this way. But you can just take the arms to the side and turn the head to the left this time. We're going to do one more bow pose. Okay? So the floor poses we're going to repeat twice. So when you're ready, bend the knees again. Catch the feet. Bring the feet a little closer together. With your inhale, come up, hold. Keep breathing. And some of you I know have an extreme wonderful back bend. Explore that back bend right now. Three, two, and one. Release. Place your hands under the shoulders and come up onto your hands and knees. We're moving into the downward facing dog. So Hold the toes under, arms in line with the shoulders, and then from here, lift your bum up, move the chest to the thighs, looking down towards the toes or towards the knees, relax the head. Three, good, 
two. And one. Come down to your hands and knees. Rest for a moment. Okay. And then we're coming to camel pose. Okay. Ready for camel? Feet about hip width apart and knees hip width apart. You can support your back. We're going to do camel twice. Elbows in, lift your chest up, lengthen the front of the spine. Now, you can roll your toes under and try to get to your feet with your fingertips touching the ankles. Otherwise, stay right here. If you know the full expression of camel, go for it. The tops of the feet would be then on the floor for the full expression and the hands on the bottom of your feet. Lift the chest up and hold. Otherwise, you're here with me with the hands supporting the lower back, elbows in, lift the chest. Press the hips forward and everybody have a seat. Sit back on your heels, pause here for a moment. Take a breath or two. And one more camel. Ready? Come on up. Heels, knees, and hips in one straight line. Pick your choice of camel. I gave you three options. Option number one, here. Lift the chest, arch back. Option number two, you roll your toes, reach your fingertips to your heels. In the final version, then the tops of the feet are on the floor and the bottom of your hands on the feet. So, hands on the feet and go back. Hold. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale up. And exhale, sit back and bring the knees a little closer together. We're moving into the rabbit pose. Now, for the rabbit, you're gonna place the crown of the head on the floor and the head as close to the knee as you possibly can. Grab the outer edges of your feet. I'm gonna have to move my glasses. Grab the outer edges of the feet, crown of the head on the floor, head really close to the knees, and then lift your bum up. Take a breath or two here. Let it all out. And let's do one more rabbit pose. Ready? Hopefully second time around, you'll feel even better than first. So grab the outer edges of your feet, tuck your chin to your chest, round the spine, crown of the head down, and then lift the bum up. slowly release let it go all right so I can see again let me put my eyes back on good and then have a seat take a deep breath we're gonna bring the left foot to the right inner thigh take the right leg a little bit to the corner of your mat inhale arms up Exhale, go forward. Chest to the thigh. Hold. Then on your inhale, come back up. Exhale, release, switch legs. So right sole to the left inner thigh, take the left leg a little bit out to the side. Turn the torso to face the left leg. Inhale, 
and then exhale grab the foot or the shin anywhere you can reach and go as far forward as the flexibility allows deep breaths relax your head down try to bring the forehead to the knee inhale come right back up exhale release and we're going to switch sides left foot to the right inner thigh inhale exhale keep the torso facing the right leg and go forward Exhale, switch. Right foot to the left inner thigh. Inhale up. Exhale. on your inhale come up exhale if you'd like to lie down for a moment you can lie down take a moment in Shavasana okay from there take your arms overhead we're gonna come up do a sit up and all right now both legs in front inhale exhale go forward hold the forward fold you can round the spine going to do this pose one more time so we're going to come up lie down on your back again okay all the way down lengthen the arms overhead take a deep breath in exhale come up doing a sit up and then reset the position for Paschimottanasana go forward seated forward fold and if you're Paschimottanasana is right here, it's fine. Hold and breathe. Four. And one, inhale. And lie down again. Relax in Shavasana. To me, this is more like mountain pose lying down than really Shavasana. The legs are active. Take the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, come up. And release. Now, twist. We're going to take the right leg on top, left foot the outside on the outside of the right hip okay both sit bones on the floor twist to the right side now if you're more on the flexible side you can grab your ankle and take your right arm around the back okay, and twist otherwise the back arm is close to you close to the opposite side of the body push the fingertips on the floor 
and keep the spine long and twist. Release the twist, stretch out the legs, and set up for the other side. Left leg on top, right heel to the outside of the left sit bone. Twist, you can take the right hand on the outside of the knee and twist. Back arm as far to the opposite side of the body and Then release, stretch out the legs, lie down again, We're using the abdominal muscles. Arms overhead, inhale, exhale completely, inhale again, exhale, come up, sit up. And same thing, right side, right leg on top, left heel to the outside of the sit bone, twist. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. Exhale, release. Stretch all the legs and do the other side. Left leg on top. Right heel to the outside of the sit belt. Twist to the left. exhale release the twist and again lie down on your back okay I'm gonna change sides because the Sun is now on, more on one side lie down on your back we're gonna relax here for a few moments just relax you're ready to come up you come up to sitting if you like to stay in Shavasana a little longer you can pause the video and then come back to the video when you're ready and our final uh, breathing techniques is Kapalabhati you can sit like this with your legs crossed or sit on your heels okay and we're gonna breathe in and out through the mouth Exhale is forcefully and you pull the belly button in. It looks like this. We're going to do this Kapalabhati breathing again. Cooling breath, breathing in through the mouth, out through the mouth. And the exhalation, remember, is very forceful. You're pushing the air out using your belly. Ready? And here you go.
five more seconds and let it all out now breathe in and now through the nose and notice how you feel so very much for watching for participating with me I appreciate if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and if you like to see more videos please post your comments post your requests I'm always happy to post a new video according to your needs bye bye namaste